All right, students, we just figured out that we could use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between two points, and we connected that to something called the distance formula. That video is getting a little long, so this video is just me showing how you can use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. And it's actually because of the nature of the Pythagorean theorem, it actually is a lot easier than it looks. So our distance formula is D equals the square root of, in parentheses, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. I'm going to go ahead and de demo that. I'm going to label my points x, y, and x, y. And let's say that just for, for, who cares? <laughs> We're going to make our second point actually be our x1, y1, and you'll see why in a minute. So let's say I chose my second point as x1, y1, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my points here. I have x2 is negative 2 minus 4 and then I go, okay, that's squared. And then my y2 is 6, and my y1 is 7. Now watch, there's some magic that happens. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. And then 6 minus 7 is negative 1. So when I put that in, negative 6 squared is actually the same as 6 squared. Negative 6 times negative 6 is 36, because a negative times a negative is a positive. And negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1, or just 1 squared. So then what we're really finding is the square root of 37. So when we take the 30, square root of 37, it's going to be a number really, really close to 6. I want to be sure I tell you guys the right number, so let me use my calculator real quick. Okay, I got 6.08, which rounds off to 6.1 units. Now, here's where the magic happens. If you were to write this first number the other way, 4 minus negative 2, you would get 6 squared which still gets you 36. Um, and then if you were to do this one, 7 minus 6, you would get 1 squared, which still equals 1. So you actually, with slope, you had to keep track of which one was first and which one was second. With this one, you're just finding the distance between the two points and it's always going to end up being a positive number. So you can switch those numbers around to be a positive number. And so usually when I do this, I'm not actually that particular about writing x1, y1. I just find the distance between the x's and the distance between the y's. The other thing that you should note is that Although I put x's first and then y's first, and I think that's actually the easiest way to do that, because there's that plus sign in between, you could flip it. You could do your y's first, find the distance between those and square it, and then add it to the x's, and you'll still get the same answer. 1 plus 36 is the same as 36 plus 1. So we're going to do number 2 at lightning speed and it'll be so easy. So we're going to first find, I like doing the x's first because it's the first number. Uh, the distance between 1 and 2 is like 2 minus 1 or 1. And we're going to square that, which is just 1, but I'll write 1 squared. The distance between 3 and 5, um, I'm just going to get the positive distance. It's 5 minus 3, so that's 2 and we're gonna make sure to square it. Now we have to add those two numbers together because we add them. And that gives us right here, our x2 minus x1, our y2 minus y1, the squareds, and the plus. We've done all that in about five seconds. Now we're going to find out what that equals and take the square root of it. So one squared is one plus two squared, which is four equals five, and we're going to take the square root of 5 and find our answer. 
You really should memorize my square roots. <laughs> 2.236, so that's about 2.2. So if you noticed, that second time was really easy. All I had to do was find the difference between the numbers and then square them, add them together, take the square root. Thanks, guys. Good luck.